Hi everyone, welcome to Eagle Eye Opener. My name is Hosanna David. I want to talk to those, our brothers and sisters, who have one challenge or the other with the bodies. Uh, I mean, those people called disabled. Probably you've lost one part of your body or one part of your body or an organ or a system is not functioning as it's supposed to be. This message goes to you. Me, I was born with two hands and two legs. But in 2010, September precisely, I had an accident, very terrible accident, and I had a transtibia amputation. If you look at my hand here, you see scars here, and even I, the muscles that are supposed to hold this together are cut off, so I just managed to straighten my hand like this, but if you look at it very well, I, it, the coordination is not as strong as it's supposed to be. A lot of you are hopeless. You think that because you are crippled, because you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, life is over. But I tell you one truth. Found in the Word of God. The first time I found this thing, I was so happy. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 4 following. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense, with a recompense. He will come and save you. Then the blind, then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame, then shall the layman leap as an heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out, and streams in the desert. This is God's promise. Remember, none of God's word falls to the ground. It must accomplish the purpose for which God set it forth. The promise here is that, even if you don't, we don't get any miracle here because I'm inclusive. If we do the will of God and rapture with the Lord or go to Him through death or whichever way that we go to Him, I tell you the truth. We will have a beautiful soul if we do well. Either through death or through the rapture, any of these ways we go to Him. If we do well, if you do the will of God, your soul is never disabled. Though I've never seen myself as a disabled person any day, so I try to do things myself. I do virtually everything I used to do myself. I dance, I jump, I do everything I used to do with the help of my prosthesis. But you may not have that uh, privilege because of your situation. Probably you don't hear well, you can't see well. But to the will of God, you are going to receive the wholeness of health when we leave this world. Whatsoever thing that affects your body, that affects your mind, it can even be a psychological challenge. I tell you the truth. It has nothing to do with your soul. It has nothing at all. The disciples asked Jesus, Master, who did he say that this man be born blind? Jesus Christ said, Neither this man nor his parents commit sin, but that the work of God might be made manifest in him. So it's not that, it's not because you sinned or your parents sinned that you are in the situation you are now. That may not be the case. Probably God wants to take glory through your situation. So why do you want to commit suicide? Even when people bully you. I tell you, when I had an accident and I was using crutches because my leg was not healed enough to use prosthesis, 
I, I used to feel ashamed for the first few months I had a position, I used to feel ashamed until one day I asked myself, Hosanna, if you are ashamed of yourself, then it means you have defeated yourself in life. So I resolved. And I also asked myself, if somebody that used to know you, a beloved brother, sister, your relation, is ashamed of your situation, so what right do you have to tell them, why are you ashamed of me, when you are ashamed of yourself? So I resolved in my heart that I will never allow whatsoever thing I pass through in my body to touch my heart. Don't allow your situation to weigh you down. You have a beautiful soul. All you just need to do is continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling and wait for the Lord. Your soul is going to be whole. Nothing that touches your body right now is going to affect your soul. So live happily. Remember also that the world, there are lots of people who bully, who bully people. So forget about their bully and live your life. It is about you. It is not about them. If they derive joy from bullying you for saying things against you because of your situation or if we take advantage of you, you have the sole right to choose to be happy, to choose whether to allow what they are saying get into your heart and weigh you down. You also have the right to say, I don't mind whatsoever thing you are saying. It is my life and I want to live the very best of my life. Lastly, don't be lame here. Don't be crippled here. Don't be blind here and be blind after now. Because if you do not do the will of God, if you go to the place where Satan is, there, where death will be banished, death will be banished to that place. Sickness will be banished to that place. I tell you the truth. You will leap in hell. You will be blind in hell because you reject the true life in Christ. Jesus Christ said, He has come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Why don't you follow Him? The Lord Jesus Christ is near. Do His will. Follow Him. Don't concentrate on what people are saying. Concentrate on what the Lord is saying. If you have no joy and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, please do so now and forget about your worries. And look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Thank you for watching. Once again, I am Hosanna David. Do, do subscribe to Eagle Ayopuna. If you know anybody that is facing some challenges and they are unhappy with their bodies, they have no, uh, no good view about their bodies, please share this video to them. It is going to help them. Thank you. God bless you. Don't forget to visit my website, Eagle Ayopuna and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Bye-bye.